Hey guys, today I'm back again with this introductory video for this website called Launch Echo. And what you can do with this tool is that you can create a website basically without any code, a logo, or just find help with choosing your startup's name. We'll get started with the website creation part. And just so you know, before you move on to watching this video, with a free account, you can only host your website on a Launch Echo domain. This means that unless you pay for a premium account once a year, you won't be able to host the website on your own domain or download the website you've created. So if you're not looking into paying for a subscription like this, you can just move on to the next part where I'm talking about how you can create your own logo and find domain names for your own startup. So to create the website, you can start by entering your startup's name and we're just going to use a basic name. And then you're going to choose what you want to create. For the purpose of this video, we are going to choose a web app. And then you can choose the colors that you are most interested in using for your own startup. Then you can go and pick a font. And then you'll set up some basic elements of the website, such as your name. You can also pick a logo or create it with Launch Echo, which I'm going to show you later in this video. Then pick a heading. Choose a subheading. And if you have a screenshot from your app or whatever you are creating, you can add that too. Then you can go on and pick the main color of your home page. Or use a background image, which you can actually source from Unsplash or just upload your own. Then moving on to the next step, you can choose what your call to action will be and link it to another page. And you can either choose from one link to having two links, which is basically two calls to action. Or you can go for a MailChimp email capture if you just want to gather emails if you haven't officially launched your app. Or you can just go without a call to action. After you will be taken to a more visual way of editing your website, and from here, you can either change your font again, create some website settings, such as a Google Analytics tracking code or any type of custom code, or work on other landing page details. You can also preview your website at any time without the menu bothering you. And then here's the publish button, which we'll get back to at the end of this presentation. Then you'll see here in the upper left corner that we are in the main block, which is called Hero. And below it, you will be able to add other elements. Let's start by adding a testimonial. And basically how this works is that you just complete all of the details, again, without needing any code. And you can add as many details and testimonials as you'd like and even personalize it with some color. And it will look something like this. And then you can go on and add more blocks. And I'm currently adding just some of the examples that they have put together so that you can see how the final version will look like. And if you think you've finished building your website, but you forgot to add, let's say, one CTA or any other element, you just make it again. And you go to that block and click on these three dots and move it up or wherever you want to place it. And now it will be above that block. And if you don't like something about it, you can just always go and edit it. Finally, you can preview it. And if you'll notice, this is just a very simple presentation website, but it's very effective and quick to make. And one last step would be to publish it. And from here, you can either change the URL just to make it more personalized. Click on the publish button, sign up again, and your website will be published and ready to be seen at this link. And you can now use this website to present any of your products, services, 
tools or whatever you sell. However, the problem with the free version remains the fact that you can't download the website, you can't publish it on your own subdomain, and you will have this small mention in the bottom left corner that you have built this website with Launchico. Moving on to the logo making tool. This is an entirely free tool and basically you just add your company's name and you start picking some of the fonts you like. Your favorite color which is going to be used for the logo and three of your favorite icons. Then you will receive some examples of logos that have been created based on your preferences. The only thing with these is that they are very basic and if other people are going to be using this tool, your logo might not be a unique one. However, you can use this for an inspiration or just for maybe a university project or any other type of um, non-commercial business you have. And you can save one of your logos and find them in the saved logo section. And then one last thing you can do with Launchico is find a perfect name for your startup. You can do this by typing your suggestions. And in our case, our company is already taken and you can see exactly who is its owner and which domains are available and what their price is. This would be about all about Launchico. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Give this tool a try and suggest any other tools that are similar to this one. I'm hoping you'll enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.